Hello friends, in this lecture, we will discuss on non-flow processes. So first of all, what is non-flow process? Non-flow process means in which process there is no any transfer of mass. It is called non-flow process. Today we derive the equation for isothermal process. First of all, what is isothermal process? It is also known as hyperbolic process. It is also known as hyperbolic process or it is also known as constant temperature process. So throughout the process, if temperature remain constant, then it is called isothermal process. Our today's objective is to derive the relationship between pressure, volume, temperature, work done equation, internal energy equation and enthalpy equation for isothermal process or hyperbolic process. It is also known as constant temperature process. So in this process, throughout the process, temperature remain constant. It is called isothermal process. So our first step is representation on PV diagram. This is pressure versus volume diagram. How can we represent the constant temperature process in PV diagram? Okay, we have already discussed in Boyle's law at absolute constant temperature, pressure is inversely proportional to volume. So the representation of constant temperature process on PV diagram is hyperbola. So it is called hyperbolic process, 1 to 2. Whenever we mention upward arrow, this will represent the compression process and it will represent the isothermal expansion process and it will represent isothermal compression process. Okay, so this is the representation of isothermal process on PV diagram and its curve is hyperbola. So it is called hyperbolic process. Now, our second step is derive the equation of work done for isothermal process. So first of all, what is work done? So we have already discussed in our previous lecture, there are three definitions of work done. First one is theoretical definition, force into displacement. Another is graphical representation, means area under the curve in PV diagram, it will represent the work done. And third one is mathematical definition, means P delta V. We know that work done equal to P delta V or P D V. Okay. Now, for isothermal process, here we are considering initial point P1, V1, P1 means it is an initial pressure of gas. Two point means P2, V2, T2. This is the final condition of gas after expansion or after compression process. So, here we take the limit for integration is V1 to V2 because here we are considering 1 to 2 process. Okay. So, P D V equal to work done. Now, we know that isothermal process in isothermal process PV equal to constant. We know that in isothermal process PV equal to constant. Our objective is to derive the equation of work done for isothermal process. So, here P equal to C by V. Put the value of P put the value of P in equation 1. This is called equation 1. Okay, put the value in equation 1. So, work done equal to V1 to V2. Here we put the value of P. We already know that we know that PV equal to constant for isothermal process because PV equal to constant, PV equal to MRT. Here M is constant, R is gas characteristic constant and T is also constant. So, PV equal to C for isothermal process. 
so p equal to c by v put this value in this equation so c by v into dv now we know that the integration of 1 upon v is log v so log v here we are considering upper limit is v2 and lower limit is v1 and uh, c is constant but uh, we know that c equal to p1 v1 p2 v2 equal to p3 v3 so now c means p1 v1 p2 v2 you can put any value okay here we apply limit first of all upper limit log v2 minus log v1 we can also write down the subtraction of log v2 minus v1 equal to p1 v1 log v2 by v1 okay this is our final equation of work done for isothermal process p2 v2 log v2 by v1 but in some of the example suppose in given data if v2 and v1 is not given then convert this value in terms of p1 and p2 according to this log p equal to constant so here we convert v2 by v1 into in terms of p1 by p2 so we know that p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 so v2 by v1 equal to p1 by p2 put the value of v2 by v1 equal to p1 by p2 now we now we are getting more equation of work done p1 v1 log p1 by p2 and p2 v2 log p1 by p2 but in some of the example for example v1 is not given then we can put p1 v1 equal to mrt1 and p2 v2 equal to mrt2 now we are getting another two equation in terms of mrt1 and mrt2 so according to the data first of all uh, observe the data in any of the example and according to the requirement you can use any of the equation of work done for isothermal process or hyperbolic process or constant temperature process so our next step is relation between pressure volume and temperature for isothermal process or hyperbolic process we know that pv by t equal to constant according to combined gas law or according to ideal gas equation okay we have already proved it in our previous lecture so pv by t equal to constant for any of the process in case of a gas so pv by t equal to constant but here we know that for constant temperature process or hyperbolic process or isothermal process throughout the process temperature remain constant means here t1 equal to t2 equal to t equal to c so apply this equation for point 1 and point 2 so we we are getting p1 v1 by t1 equal to p2 v2 by t2 but we know that this is a isothermal process so throughout the process temperature remain same so t1 and t2 both are same so it is cancel out so the relationship between p1 and t1 equal to p1 v1 equal to p2 v2 means pv equal to constant this is a useful relation to find out any unknown value in any of the example of isothermal or hyperbolic or constant temperature process so this is the relationship between pressure and volume for isothermal process 
The another step is derive the equation of internal energy. We know that internal energy equal to mcv delta t. But we know that delta t means temperature difference. Delta t equal to t2 minus t1. So in that process, in this process, t1 equal to t2. So delta t is 0. So internal energy is 0. For which process? For isothermal process. Now our next step is enthalpy equation. Delta H. It is called enthalpy and its unit is kilojoule per kg. We know that enthalpy equal to mcp delta t. So here also delta t means temperature difference means t2 minus t1. So here t1 equal to t2. So delta t term is 0 for isothermal process. So delta h equal to 0 for isothermal process. Now our last relation is to derive equation of heat transfer. So according to according to first law of thermodynamics delta Q equal to delta U plus delta W where delta Q is heat transfer, delta U is internal energy and delta W means work done. But we know that for isothermal process Internal energy is 0. Here we already proved that internal energy equal to mcv delta t. Delta t means temperature difference. So there is no any temperature difference because the process temperature remains same. So internal energy is 0 for isothermal process. So here delta q equal to delta w. Okay, we have already derived the equation of work done for isothermal process. E1 V1 log V2 by V1. P2 V2 log V2 by V1. And if uh, pressure and if volume is not given in the example, then you can convert this value in terms of pressure. So this is a equation for heat transfer for isothermal process.